This is English Communication Skill Web-based project. I'm going to discuss the impact of MCO on economy. So please watch until the end of this video. Hi, I'm Diagnosis Davida Orashi. The 2020 Movement Control Order, commonly referred to as the MCO or PKP, implemented as a preventive measure by the Federal Government of Malaysia in response to the COVID-19 pandemic in the country on 18 March 2020. Prime Minister Tan Sri Mohidin Yassin made an official speech and officially promulgated the Movement Control Order under the Prevention and Control of Infectious Disease Act 1988 and the Police Act 1967. It was the first economic contraction since the 2009 global financial crisis and the steepest since the Asian financial turn oil in 1998. For the first half of the year, Malaysian economy shrank by 8.3%. The lockdown in April saw almost zero activity in manufacturing, construction, and service sector. Now, the only sector that registered a slight growth is agriculture. Palm oil production went up 7% in the second quarter. The government order on the closure of all non-essential business premises had stand still as SMEs in the travelling and printing sector. Other businesses under the essential industry category for domestic needs and necessities of people are continuing the operation, but at a reduced scale. Some companies recorded zero income after the total business lockdown leaving the MCO. The cash flow imbalance occurred as the owners are still obligated to make impossible expenses such as the staff salary, business loan, rental fees, utilities and other fixed costs. Even though the commercial bank offered six-month moratorium period for all business loan, not all businesses get benefit from the incentive since they are utilizing other types of financing method such as the financing leasing. Economy indicators show that many sectors have recorded quick recoveries since reopening, while export and industrial production have also been on the rise. Wool sale and retail trade sale notch a 21.8 growth in June, with the sale of motor vehicles rising by 78.9%. With these early signs of recovery, the country economy is expected to gradually recover in the second half of 2020 and to record a strong GDP recovery of between 5.5% and 8% in 2021.